Hi, in this video we are going to settle the violations. So we have this settle violation method with the self, the data we have inserted and the given node. Okay, and first we have to get the balance. It equal to the self dot calculate balance on the given node. It's going to return a value, basically an integer. According to this balance, we are able to calculate that what rotations we have to make. So for example, we are going to consider the case one. This case one is the so-called left left heavy situation. So left left heavy situation. So if the balance is greater than one and the data is smaller than the node left child that data then what does it mean basically the balance is greater than one what is this balance the balance is greater than one it means that the left subtree is greater because if the right subtree would be greater then we have for example a small number for example one and we have a great number and it should be smaller than zero so that's why if we know that the balance is greater than one then it has to be the case when the left child so the left subtree contains more item than the right subtree so it is a left heavy situation but why is it a left left heavy situation because we know that the data is smaller than the node left child that data so it has to be a left child because if it's smaller we have to insert it to the left if it's greater we have to insert it to the right in this case we just have to make a simple right rotation on the node this node is the root node basically okay so we just print out that this is a left left or doubly left heavy situation i'm not sure left left heavy sometimes it is called left left heavy sometimes it is called doubly left heavy situation whatever so we just have to make a simple and we have to return with it we just have to make a simple right rotation so right rotation or sorry rotation right something like that on the node so this is the case one for example as you can see it's a doubly left heavy situation we have the plus one we have the minus one as a height parameter so we can calculate the balance and we can come to the conclusion it is a left heavy situation so we just have to make a simple right rotation as you can see on the root node so the b is going to be the root node in the rotated tree okay then we have if the balance is smaller than minus one and the data is greater than the node dot right child dot data basically it is the same but in the opposite direction if the balance is smaller than minus one what does it mean that this term outperforms this term so the right child or the right subtree is greater contains more node so it is a right heavy situation and we know for certain that the node right child data is smaller than the data we have inserted so this data has to be the right child of a right child so it is a doubly right heavy situation this is the case too okay it is a right right heavy situation we just have to make a single left rotation okay so we just have to print out that right right heavy situation and we just have to return with a self dot rotate left on the given node so this is the case we have been talking about it's the right right heavy situation you just have to make a simple left rotation on the root node on the b okay and as you can see with the help of a single left rotation it's going to be balanced then we have the situation if the balance is greater than zero what does it mean it's going to be a left heavy situation but we know that the data is not smaller but it's greater than the node dot sorry for that node dot left child dot data what does it mean that it is a right heavy situation but this is called i think that it is a left right heavy 
situation in the sense that we have a left child and then right child. So this is the case three. It is a left right heavy situation. I'm not sure by the way what it is right left heavy. It depends whether we start at the, this node or this node. But what was very important, this is the case three, when we have a left child and the left child has a single right child. We have to make a single left rotation on this node. Then we end up with a doubly left heavy situation. So we have to make another rotation on the root node. So that's why in this case, we have to make two rotations. The node dot left child is going to be equal to the self dot rotate to the left. And of course we have to rotate to the left on the node dot left child. And then after all we have to make and return with the self dot right rotation on the node. Okay, and we have the same basically but in the opposite direction. So if the balance is smaller than minus one, and the data is smaller than the node dot right child dot data. We just have to print out that this is a right left heavy situation. So we just have to set the node dot right child is equal to a self dot rotate right on the node dot right child. And then we have to return with the self dot rotate left on the node. This is the case for we have a right child and a left child. Again, we have to make two rotations. First on the F, we have to make a right rotation on that F. Then we end up with a doubly right heavy situation. So we have to make again a left rotation on the D. So that's why in this case we have to make a right and left rotation. Uh, right and the left rotation accordingly. In this, this is the case three, we have to make a left right rotation. So basically all the cases are able to solve with the help of right and left rotation. So that's why we have implemented it. I think it's going to be just fine. In the next video we are going to test it. Thanks for watching.